today I'm going to show you how to do a blind hem. In my last tutorial that I made, uh, someone requested that um, they wanted to see my blind hem method. And I promised that the next time I was doing um, a project where a blind hem was needed, that I would share my technique with you. What I'm working on today is Vogue 9181. Um, there are these fly wide leg or flared leg pants. And I decided to do mine in this beautiful, gorgeous, vibrant, fun, hot pink, um, white well corduroy. I'd seen um, Trace Ellis Ross in Elle magazine wearing these Celine uh, corduroys. And I was like, yes, I got to have a pair. So I tracked down the fabric from Minerva Crafts. Even though I live in the U.S., the only place that I could find... Um, the cord that I wanted online was in the UK. And by the way, if you live in the US and you've never shopped with Minerva Crafts before, you need to make them an option, one of your fabric buying options, because their shipping was so quick. I was so shocked at how fast I got my package that um, I will definitely be using them as a resource again. When working with corduroy, it's very similar to working with velvet. Last tutorial, I showed you how to sew a velvet kimono, and I gave you great tips on working with velvet fabric. Well, corduroy is a nap fabric just like velvet, and you can use those same tips that I gave and apply them to working with corduroy. Up in creating a blind hem is you have to prep the fabric. For this pants pattern, I'm going to use a three inch hem. And we're going to go ahead and take a ruler and we're going to go ahead and mark the fabric. I've already surged the edges and I've turned the pants inside out and gone ahead and turned up my hem. And I'm going to take these over to the ironing board and press that hem in place. Okay, now that we have the hem pressed in place, what we're going to do now is flip that back. And what I like to do is leave about a quarter of an inch of the fabric showing. And we're going to pin this in place. Now that the hem is pinned in place, we're going to go ahead and take it to the sewing machine. On Bernina, this is the blind hem foot. It's the number five foot. As you see, it has the center piece and the center piece right here, this is where the folded edge of your hem will go against that. And um, on this part right here, this is used to adjust the foot uh, for the thickness of the fabric. Since I'd already been sewing my pants, my machine is currently set to number one, which is the straight stitch on the Bernina 350PE. I'm going to change that to the number seven blind stitch. And I've gone ahead and snapped my foot on. As you see, the fold of the hem is lined up against the metal part. Now let's go ahead and sew our hem. And you see the needle is going back and forth. On the folded part right here, it's just catching like a small, tiny, minuscule stitch right there and it's sewing and attaching it to the part of the fabric that's hanging out right here. And that's how the blind stitch is created. Pin. And see, that's all sewn and attached. And so there you have it. The blind stitch is finished and it gives a beautiful hem finish on any garment 
where you don't want to necessarily have that top stitch hemline going across.